Good morning, grade 4. How are you today? We're gonna start a new lesson, lesson 5.8, divide with one digit numbers. Part 1. I ask you to copy everything on your copy books. The anatomy of a long division problem. 479 divided by 7 equal 68 or 3. Here, the 68 is the quotient, the 7 is the divisor, the 479 is the dividend, and the 3 is the remainder. Long division. Here we have the member of a family. The dad, the mom, the sister, the brother, and Rover the dog. Long division is as simple as memorizing the people in this family. Each person represents a step in the long division process. The dad is the divide. Mom, multiply. Sister, subtract. Brother, bring down. And Rover, repeat or remainder. Step 1 in long division, divide. So here, 947 divided by 2. You have to divide 2 into first number in the dividend. The first number in the dividend is 9. So 9 divided by 2. Think how many 2's will fit into 9. So how many 2's will go into 9? 4. Write the number directly above the number you divided into. And you ask 2 times how many equal 9. Now you have to multiply. You multiply the divisor, which is 2, times the first number in the quotient, which is 4. So 2 times 4 equal 8. Then you write the answer directly under the 9 or the number you just divided into. Step 3 is subtract. So now you have to subtract. You draw a line under the 8. You write a subtraction sign next to the 8. So you subtract 8 from 9. 9 minus 8 equal 1. So you write your answer directly below the 8. Now you bring down, so you go to the next number in the dividend, the dividend is 947. So you go to the next number in the dividend to the right of the 9, which is 4. Then you write an arrow under the 4 and you bring the 4 down next to the 1. So you got 14. Now repeat or remainder. Now, this is where you decide whether you repeat the five steps of division. If your divisor can divide into your new number 14, or if you have numbers in the dividend that have not been brought down, you repeat the five steps of division. Now, you have to divide. So, you divide 2 into your new number, which is 14. You place the answer directly above the 4 in your quotient. So, 2 times how many equal 14? 7. So, you place the 7 above the 4 in your quotient. Now, you multiply. Multiply your divisor, 2, with your new number in the quotient, which is 7. So, 2 times 7 equals 14. So, you place the, your answer directly under the 14. So, you place this 14 under the 14. Now, the step to do is to subtract. You have to subtract. You draw a line under the bottom 14. You draw a subtraction sign. Then you subtract and you place the answer under the line. So 14 minus 14 equals 0. Now, next step is bring down. So now you 
put an arrow under the next number 7 in the dividend and you bring the 7 down next to the 0. Now repeat or remainder. Now if the 2 will divide into your new number 7, then repeat the steps of division. So now we have to find if the 2 will divide into the number the new number 7. So now we will divide. So 7 divided by 2. You divide your divisor 2 into your new number 7. You place your answer in the quotient next to the 7. So 3. 7 divided by 2 equals 3. Now you multiply your divisor 2 by your new number in the quotient 3. You place your answer under the number you brought down 7. So 2 times 3 is 6. Now we subtract. You draw a line under the number 6. Then you place your subtraction sign. Then you subtract and you put your answer directly under the 6. So 7 minus 6 equals 1. Now bring down... You look at your dividend to see if there are any more numbers to bring down. If not, you move to step 5. Here, we didn't have any number to bring down. So now, since there are no more numbers to bring down and 2 will not divide into 1, you do not repeat the steps of division. The number left over which is 1, becomes the remainder. So you represent the remainder next to the quotient 473 or 1. So this is 947 divided by 2 equals 473 or 1. 2 is the divisor, 947 is the dividend, 473 is the quotient, and 1 is the remainder. So we'll continue in part two next week. Thank you.